Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Dawson's Creek Season 1. Last episode we had Dawson being a bit wild, uh, so nothing new there. He was trying to direct his little film and getting annoyed at everyone that was involved in it. I, I don't really know what was going on. Um, Joey was actually pretty good. Jem still the most chill one, Pacey doing the same thing he's always doing, but uh, yeah, episode 5 guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like because it does help the video and it does help the channel, and Patreon is linked down below if you do want to join us over on there, we will have finished season 1 by the time this one is on YouTube, and um, it should be like an episode or two I think into season 2, so yeah, for now guys, let's do this. Oh no, not the Spielberg photo frame, well, mate. so much for Twister. Good evening from the Weather Center, where we continue to track the progress of Hurricane Chris. Hurricane Chris? Alright. Who names these hurricanes? Gone ahead and canceled classes for tomorrow in Yarmouth, North Falmouth, and Cape... There's a hurricane and you have your window open. Huh? Well, Bob, sounds like tomorrow would be a good day oh. just to stay in bed. You got that right, Gail. Oh, be any more of it, literally. <laughs> what would you be on the current situation in Bosnia? Will you be jumping my bones after the broadcast? <laughs> oh, my <shit. laughs> You've got that right. Everything's postponed because of the hurricane. My life included. Your life is a hurricane. No metaphors, Joey. It's too late. You love metaphors. Hey, Dawson. Blows away. That's in your seatbelt. It's gonna be a bumpy life. Someone's gonna get damaged and injured, injured in this hurricane. Lose a limb. Oh no, not the suitcase. <laughs> All right, a flashlight candle. He'll find out this app, calling it. Or be told. Listen, I'm going to run next door and check on Jen and Mrs. Ryan. Extend an invitation to ride out the storm. But they're not just ride out in their own house. I don't know. My dad's a great guy, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe on the Tom <laughs> Hanks, Harrison Ford idealistic side. But solid like a rock. Yeah. Question. And faithful. <laughs> I mean, you basically just told her that you know. So who's covering uh, Hurricane Chris? You didn't pick up on that. Bob got the gig. Oh, that Bob. Boy, he's on top of it. <laughs> He's a great guy. Dad's a great guy. Bob's the anchor man. Hurricane Chris. Oh, that's right. Chris is the hurricane. Bob's the anchor man. You know that he knows, surely. <laughs> oh boy. What do you mean, oh boy? You were just kissing in the hallway when you knew he was coming, by the way. I just want to note that I am here in a complete duress. Oh, just stop your punk ass whining. All right, mate. School's Bloody hell. Today. It's my one chance to sleep in, catch up on my soap. Who's this guy? His brother. Dad's orders. Dad's orders. You said yep. that with such a lapdog enthusiasm. You know I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, you're so butch, Dougie. Uh, screw you. Why'd he talk like an NPC? Because I'm pretty doesn't mean I'm gay. I happen to be the straightest guy I know. Oh, really? <laughs> I think your CD collection would contradict that. Barbra Streisand, the soundtrack to Les Mis. <laughs> Well, if they don't need any more evidence than that, I guess. You know, Junior's foreskin will be a non-issue if we all blow away in a tight boom. What are we talking it's about? It's just a warning. These things never come this far north. Well, I vote we go to Dawson's. Hey, actually, that's not a bad idea. Don't change the subject. This kid is being circumcised. I still don't know no, this guy's name. Not. Also, Pacey just had a scene with someone who wasn't the teacher. What the hell? No, don't. Backside's all done. Yo, Pace, give me a hand here. It's good to see you, Pacey. Your brother was kind enough to help me secure the place. Oh, yeah. He's a great guy. I bet the brother, like, is gonna try and get with Tamara. Or is he like, you know that Tamara? She's kind of hard, man. Do you think I have a chance? Watch. Cracked a book since third grade. Oh, really? Well, you'd be pleased. Your brother's doing quite well, Officer Witter. Oh, please, call me Doug. Yep. Yep. Call me Doug. Oh, right. Uh, Miss Jacobs would be fine. Oh, my God. Or tomorrow, whatever you like. Tomorrow? Ah! I thought someone just blew up. I hate storms. I, I I really don't do well at all in bad weather. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Who do, Who does great in bad weather? What the hell? Yo, Pace is pissed. Pissy Pacey. The Lord decided to blow my house away, so be it. Oh, Grams, I forgot to tell you the Lord sent a fax. Isn't there a corpse in your house? He just left him by himself. Cool, we could, I guess, fend for himself, that's fine. I heard your grandfather's back in the hospital, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they just ran some tests, he'll be okay. Oh. It's my grand's kind of anxious. Okay, never mind. Well, how are you doing? Good. Is he still being awkward about that? She slept with someone else. Oh my god. Ms. Ryan, do you know... We've met your Bessie, Joey's unmarried sister. And this is Bodie. 
Bodie. Thank you, Walter Cronkite. Need I remind you who won the local Emmy and the Golden Desk Award? Are you actually on the phone in the house to him? <laughs> what the f She wants to be caught. I'm sorry. There's no way she doesn't. I like you back in one piece. Okay. She's just on the phone to him, kissing him down the phone, while sat on the stairs. What the f Oh my god, you caught me. Don't look so surprised, please. Save us that. <laughs> Just sat on the stairs in the big hall. I know you must be really angry right now, and it is completely justified. Save it. Honey, please, hear me out. Go on. Um, I love your father. Mm. Now, I know that might seem a little hypocritical at the moment, but what is happening between Bob and I... Bob and me. Bob and I is grammatically incorrect. Okay. <laughs> that is a grammar Nazi. Excellent. I'm the son. Remember, there's a whole missing element here. I think it's downstairs, and it has a name. Husband, spouse, mate, better half. Yeah, she Any needs. Ring a bell. She needs to tell the husband because, like, dunk on Dawson all you want, but the fact he's just got to sit there knowing this and not being able—he could tell his dad, but he shouldn't have to. Is the proposition of monogamy such a Jurassic notion? I mean, is it no longer reasonable to think that two people can be enough for each other for their entire lives? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's power. chemical. Maybe there's some kind of hormonal imbalance. Your mother is a good woman. <laughs> yeah, you defend her. You would, it makes sense. Excuse me? You heard me? Yeah, I did, and you better clarify yourself right now before I rip your head off. I'm simply remarking, who better to understand a woman's just, need to have multiple yeah. partners? <laughs> Mate, what are you all about? I guess it's you, Dawson. Some of us are imaginary characters in yeah. Spielberg film. Some of us live in reality. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, like... Uh... Oh, don't even tell me. Okay. Don't mind me, just... Why are you in the closet? Why are you in there? Just randomly. What are you doing in there? Yeah. Just regressing for a moment. Remember how we used to play in there when we were kids? Now we'd reenact the whole third act from Jaws. So you just... Okay. Do your thing, Joey. Let me just offer the one ounce of wisdom I can bring to this table. You know, instead of asking why your mother's doing all these horrible things... Uh-huh. May I suggest that you get down on your knees and thank God that you have a mother? What? How is that like a point made? Got for a second. This isn't about me. <laughs> Wait. How is that like a point? Oh yeah, your mum might be cheating on your your dad, but just remember that at least you have a mum. Oh, okay, so we can't be upset about it, right? What the fuck? <laughs> a little fresh rosemary, some ground pepper. I think I know a little bit more about the culinary oh, arts. It was just delicious, Mrs. Ryan. She definitely strikes me as a racist, by the way, so I'm just going to throw that out there. It's pretty messy out there. And Bob watches out for himself. I wouldn't worry about Bob, Mr. Larry. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, gee whiz. Are you two actually here? Oh my god. Well, I'm an officer of the law and it's my job to protect people, so. As long as I'm not keeping you. Thanks, mate. Protecting no one, by the way. There probably is people out there actually dying and you're here having a Pepsi. Uh, should you go out there? Oh, this is my job, Tammy. Oh, the hero America needs. He's a closet case. What? Oh, yeah, full blooded, 100% gay man. Because he has lay mids on CD. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not with your badge, brother, right outside. Quick reminder, this is a felony. I... <laughs> you keep reminding us, Tamara. You keep bringing it up. And yet, here we are. I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. <laughs> oh. There's nothing, it was just the. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You know, at least someone else saw them. So we could be done about it. Something wrong, does it? It's all gonna come out this episode, maybe. Mitch, there's something that you. I mean, there's something that. It's not gonna I be what. To tell you. It's not gonna be about Bob. I'll leave you two alone. Uh, no, Dawson. We're family. This falls on all ears. And what is it? We're either going to be a terrible wife or a terrible person. Here we go. Wow, where do I begin? Um, 
the roof's come off. It's gonna you be something know so stupid. I love what I do. Here we go. I'm gonna quit my job. Somebody does somebody wrong, and then they go on TV with their IQ of three and bitch and moan. Why are you waffling? Just say what you need to say. I have always prided myself on not being that kind of person. Okay. You know, the kind of person that would wind up on a panel of, of cheaters and low lowlifes and, and, yeah. and, and liars. I mean... What are you saying? She, is she going to tell him? What I am saying Why are you is, tilted that way? For the past two months... Yeah. ...past 62 days... Yeah. Every time that I've come home late... Uh-huh. Every time that I've made an excuse to leave this house... Uh-huh. Every time that I haven't been with you... Uh-huh. I have been... Uh uh, with someone else. Okay, there we go. Well, another she man. actually did say I thought it was going to be some bullshit. H having sex with another man. Did Dawson need to be here for this conversation, by the way? <laughs> now I won't be so insulting as to offer an apology. This is, after all, on the other side of forgiveness. I just thought that you should know, bitch. Okay, I just thought you should know. We've been married for 20 years, but I thought you should just know that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know, at least he knows. My God, I was worried they were going to drag that out for another episode. Go on. Mitch, please talk to me. I had it in my hands, and now it's disappeared. Where is it? Where'd it go? The whole man's stressing. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Don't you cry. <laughs> Alan Wake. Uh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> where, where? I'm really sorry about my brother. We've had to put up with this pinhead. Oh, you think you think now. they just fell onto each other? Okay. You know? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Oh, Monopoly. Well, have you ever played the if game? No. How do you do that? Oh, it's a really good way to get to know each other. Uh, I ask you a question like, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Cereal. <laughs> if you had to pick one city that you had to live in for the rest of your life, what city would you pick? Easy. New York. It does. My hometown. It does. Yeah. There's a lot to do in New York, I'd assume. I would say London, but ugh, I don't know. I was your ex-husband. I'd be full of regret right about now. All right, mate. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, my turn. Dougie, if you could star in any Broadway musical, <laughs> which one would you choose? <laughs> Easy. Tony, what's that story? I love that. <laughs> oh, that didn't really go to plan, did it, Pacey? I know your game didn't really work. Ten times, try fifteen. Whoa! We don't even know if it's gonna be a girl or boy. Or black or white. What? Ooh, she's off and running. Bodie, don't. It's not a judgment, Bodie, just an observation. Okay. Which do you object to more, Mrs. Ryan? The fact that I'm black and she's white? Or that we're unmarried and about to have a child in sin? <laughs> yeah, both, I think. Children raise children. Get ready, Bodie. Ch How old do you think this guy is? Part black, part white, it doesn't matter, Mrs. Ryan. I told you, by the way. Called it! Called it! Guess it really hit the fan today, hmm? So where's Dawson? Don't know, don't care, I'm taking a break. Yeah, I don't blame you. Do you think Dawson's got a pistol or a rifle? <sighs> How would I know? Oh, come on. Oh, a pack, eh? I'm actually <laughs> that told me a minute. I was like, what do you want about? It was wrong to spew his anger at his mom onto you. So Definitely that. a pistol, by the way. Involuntary eavesdropping. No, taking into consideration his high weight, feet, and hand size, and mm. I see slightly above average. Okay, all right. You can guess. <laughs> Are you two all right? We're getting horny over Dawson together. What the bloody hell? Oh, here she is. No. Oh, thank God, someone white is in here. Forgiveness is one of the greatest gifts the Lord has given us. With it comes. The Lord gave us forgiveness. What? Same way rain brings a rainbow. From what I've seen of you so far, you better buy yourself a good umbrella. Umbrella. A good umbrella. Thanks for your help, by the way. You did nothing. Bye. Course line. Kiss today. Goodbye. Oh, man, just start doing chess. Good day. It's your turn. Oh, <laughs> sure. I'd love to. Yeah? Um, I'm Great, okay. We'll make a whole night of it. You know, nice romantic dinner, leave baby brother here at home. <laughs> His face, he's pissed. A little more intimately, you know, make it a real date. Oh, <laughs> not really a real date. Why not? He tried! Well, you know, because I... I know. <laughs> it's not because I'm too young, is it? I mean... His <laughs> face! Just that I know that you're... gay. Okay. 
What? The music, what the fuck? Did you tell her I'm gay? <laughs> no, I guessed it. When I lived in New York, I lived on Christopher Street. Because he likes musicals, alright. You told her, didn't you? Tell her I'm not gay. <laughs> what the fuck? I am not gay. It's okay to be gay. Okay. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell him tomorrow. Alright, you tell her, right? Oh, what the fuck? Hey. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Does this kind of stuff all the time. Pulls a gun on you. Tell her. <laughs> this is a joke. Just a, just a classic American joke. Just pulling a gun on bro. Okay, alright. <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching. He's not this show is wild. I just... Alright then. Alright then. <laughs> he pulled a gun on his brother. Because he told... The... Uh, the teacher he's sleeping with that his brother's gay because he likes musicals. And there we go. That's the storyline we've just had to deal with. Tell her I'm not gay. <laughs> it's Bob, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is. On the pier at the marina and you were with that girlfriend of yours. A woman who never shut up. Talk, talk, talk all the time. I can't... What are you smiling about? Who knows? Soap opera names, you know, like, I don't know, like, Lexus or Dorian. Phoebe. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you man's losing his mind. The minute Phoebe introduced us, I knew that I loved you. Don't say you love him, too. Just don't bother. Save us from that. Love comes that quick. It's like a decision. Love is a decision that you make, and I made it right there on the spot. Is it a decision? I don't know. Don't know if I agree with that one. Is that our love came quick and it's lasted. It's weathered the storm. <coughs> ah, I got it, because that's a hurricane. But as quickly as I made that decision 20 years ago to love you, I'm taking it back. Fair play, mate. Got right. What? I don't want to love you anymore. I choose to hate you now. <laughs> No, bitch, don't. We said no, bitch. No, bitch, don't. <laughs> Mitch. Oh, is Mitch... So I don't know I anyone called Mitch. Get out of the car! <laughs> Before I physically remove you from it. <laughs> all right, mate, bloody hell. Sorry about the gun, bloody hell. Hey. Yeah, that's all right, mate. I'd uh, still like to take you out. Apologising to her. <laughs> what? I, I have to be honest with you, Doug. I'm seeing someone right now. Well, fair enough. God. Okay. Let's go, Squirt. Yes, sir, Deputy Doug. Oh, so romantic. But before I go there, okay, a few Jen, things... I'm no, in. no, hear me out, Dawson. Go on, please. Jen, go in. Okay, because this seems to be the day of truth, and I'm taking my turn. I lost my virginity when I was 12 to some older guy who got me drunk. What do you have to say about that one, Dawson? After the first pregnancy scare, I went on the pill and I used condoms. Most of the time, I, some of the times, um... If he says, oh my god, bro, if he pipes up... I mean, sex at such a young age, more often than not, is a bad idea. Well, I finally I'm, got caught you know, having well. sex in my parents' bed. Daddy's little girl. Fornicating right before his very eyes. I'm not that white as snow image you've got either. I'm somewhere in between and I'm, I'm just... Dawson, please have an actual human response. My parents have this raging sex life and I guess I secretly used it as their measure of happiness. Well, sex doesn't equal happiness. Yeah, I know. I know that now. Uh-huh. He's still a loser, bro. What the hell? And it would be really nice if you'd be a part of that. I'm on condition. That you'll have me. Because Jen, my behavior has been unredeemable. And I don't deserve so Oh my god. Compassionate and open <laughs> and honest and beautiful. He's actually I thought he was gonna say some bullshit. Yeah, some guy got me drunk at the age of twelve and took advantage of me. And I thought Dawson was gonna come out with some waffle like I can't be with you after that. Like that's the kind of main character we're dealing with, but luckily, we're good. What are you doing? Where's your brother? Ah, uh, I circle back. It's late, Pacey. Late? It's like 4 p.m. If you could do any one thing in your life again, what would it be? Well, I wouldn't have married an abusive fat stockbroker. Fuzz. 
Same question. Back at you. Well, I'd be older. So I could tell the world about this wonderful woman who I am rapidly falling in love with. Oh, for God's sake. I'm already jealous of every guy who's ever been in your field of vision. Who's known the smell of your hair. Who's held your body against his. Tell me when this is done, I was... We're getting sloppy, Pacey. You know we're gonna have to end this. It's getting too dangerous. You keep saying that. If you could do any one thing right now, what would it be? Play Monopoly, I don't know. Well, man thought he nailed that one. Okay. So romantic. I thought, I thought their like brother would pick up on it. Even if he did, I bet this would be the show where they'd like blame Pacey. Like, Pacey, what are you doing? That's your teacher. That's what. That's what would happen. Down under the wishing tree. <laughs> Covered in twigs. Oh wait, no, they're on the window. <laughs> I thought you never mind, whatever. So why'd you do it? Get ready, Mitch, because if you think it can't get worse, it can. I'm pregnant. My reason is oh. preposterous. <laughs> I have no reason. No. It so looks like she's covered in twigs. Everything I ever wanted from the time I was six had been realized. I discovered <laughs> Even framing perfection obtained is a discomforting state. A husband who stimulates me mind, body, and soul every day of my life. I want for nothing. Mind, body, and soul. I want back everything that I've lost. <laughs> yep. A tale as old as time. He's gonna he's gonna snap, I reckon. I I think he'll kick down the door of his own home with a shotgun and just kill the whole family in the series finale. This, we think this story is about Dawson, it's actually about the dad, like, becoming more psychotic as it goes on. I can't even feel sorry for the guy. Like, he had his son kissing a mannequin in front of him. Remove that one scene. I actually might quite like the dad, but unfortunately that scene exists, so. I owe you an apology. I have been thoughtless and insensitive and self-obsessed to the extreme. If you give me a chance to rectify my belligerent ways, I... <laughs> my belligerent ways. I'm sorry for using the mother card. I keep it in my back pocket and it's way too easy. Sure, I don't know what I would do if I lost my mother. Well, she's not going to die, is she? Oh, right, because of what she said, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, they're going to do the, the Jaws thing. Sheriff Brody, that's a 20-footer. <laughs> 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 We're gonna need a bigger boat. Joel's the most mid film ever. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, there we go, guys. That is episode five of Dawson's Creek. This was horrendous. Like, not horrendous. This was, like, ridiculous. It was a ridiculous episode, but it was actually fun. I just felt like this was a fun episode. Unlike some of the others, it felt like we just kind of had. The same stories doing the same thing. Where this one, it felt like some things were revealed, not real, but to not to us, but to certain characters like the dad, um, and like Dawson wasn't as annoying this episode as he typically is. I felt like I was what he was in the first half, like when he was just being Marty at Jen. Still, he's like, oh my god, okay. Um, but then his response wasn't amazing, but it was like <laughs> I think with Dawson, like the bar's down here, so. I was expecting a really bad response from him after what she kind of said her piece and said her speech or whatever, but uh, he did say he was acting like an absolute twat. Um, I don't think he actually said the word sorry, but he, you know what? I don't think we'll, I don't think he's a character that would ever say sorry, so we'll take what we can get. Uh, so, yeah, really like Jen this episode. Kind of learned a bit more about what actually happened in New York, uh, so which is wild. So, yeah, I really, Jen's easily the best character for me at the moment. Um, I would like the dad, but that one scene in episode two is just stuck with me. How could it not stick with you? Uh, so, yeah, but I'm glad he found out about the mum in this episode. They actually didn't drag that out too long. I felt like another episode or two, it would have started to feel a bit dragged, but uh, they, you know, got it got it out there in up five. So, like, Jen found out, sorry, Joey found out in up one, Dawson found out in up five, three, sorry, or four, I think it was episode four. And then the dad found out at five, so that's actually pretty good pacing, to be fair, I'll give it that. Um, the weakest part was Pacey, again. 
I like that the brother was there because it just was something. If it was just like Pacey and whatever her name is Tamara kind of hunkered down in the house. Ugh. I mean, it's still bad because they were pretty much doing that, but at least the brother was there. So we at least met a new character, I guess. He is wild. The guy just full on just pulled a gun out on Pacey for nothing. Uh, <laughs> just ridiculous. So, but yeah, that was, that was, um, again, Pacey is just, it, his character is fine, but his story is just, so, who's, no one's into that story. It's like, all right, uh, is that everyone? Yeah, and there's everyone. Pretty good. Joey was fine. Um, again, just kind of a mid character for me at the moment. Most of the characters are, to be fair, at the moment, but I'll say Jen is the good one. Jen's like the easily the best one for me. So, yeah, we'll go, I think this might be our first seven out of ten. This was the best episode since Ep 1, I'd say. And it might be the best episode so far. Like, it was ridiculous. We had some goofy-ass scenes in there for sure. But it was good fun. So I'll go 7 out of 10 for this episode, which I think is the highest rating we've given so far. Yay, we have our first 7. Episode 5, you managed to pull it off. Uh, so yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know thought the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode... Six. Until then, take care. Peace.